Hey guys, this is Mr. Breen, and in this video I'm going to be talking about buying bonds at a discount. So I'm actually going to stay on this title page a little bit because I just want to talk about what it means to buy bonds at a discount. Um, this basically means, you know, when you buy a bond, you could just sit on it until the bond, until the bond's maturity arrives and you get paid back the par value. And uh, that's fine. But you could also sell the bond at any point before the maturity to some other person. So when you sell this bond, how much can you sell it for? Can you always sell it for the same amount that you bought it for, or might you have to sell it for a different amount? Well, let's say that this year you bought a bond that had a par value of a thousand, so you paid a thousand dollars for it, and its coupon payment is fifty dollars every year until maturity. It doesn't matter how long it is going to be until maturity. Let's just say it pays fifty dollars a year until maturity, which is five percent. So it's a five percent coupon rate. And then next year, the same bond, the same company's bond, has a par value of a thousand dollars and a coupon payment of a hundred dollars. Now, remember that when this happens, your coupon payment stays the same. It's still going to be $50. But if you bought a new one this year, the new bond would have a coupon payment of $100. Now, the thing you have to understand here is that no one wants to buy your bond anymore for $1,000. Why would they? They can get a $1,000 bond, they can pay $1,000, and get a bond that pays them $100 a year. That's much better. That's a 10% rate of return. Well, you're going to have to sell your bond, if you must sell it, for some amount of money that will make $50 also 10%. So down here, this is a 10% rate of return. Last year, your bond, this is a 5% rate of return, but you're going to have to sell it for something that makes it 10%. Okay, well, what's that going to be? It turns out that it's going to be $500, because... $50 is 10% of $500. So you might actually have to sell this bond for $500 if you have to sell it. On the other hand, maybe the market interest rate or the interest rate for a new bond or the coupon payment for a new bond actually went down over the course of the year. So let's say this year you bought a bond that had a par value of $1,000 and a coupon payment of $50. Next year, let's say that a new bond sells for $1,000 but only gives you a coupon payment of $10. Well, now people would gladly pay $1,000 for your bond because your bond has a coupon payment of $50, which is much better than they could do in the current market, buying a new bond. So actually, you could charge a much higher price than $1,000 because the current market interest rate, the current market interest rate is actually just, uh, not 10%, nope, 1%. So you could charge a par value, you could charge uh, an amount for the bond that made this 1%. Previously it was 5%, but now it's 1%. So it turns out for this bond, you could charge $5,000 because $50 is 1% of $5,000. So you could make a pretty tidy sum on that. So you get this general rule when you're talking about bond prices changing. If the market interest rate goes down, then current bonds become much more valuable. Okay, because they pay a higher interest rate. So current bonds will go up in price if the market interest rate goes down. But if the market interest rate goes up, then bonds go down in price. Yeah, yeah, if a bond goes down in price, maybe it's not that big a deal because you could always just hold it until maturity and get that $1,000 back. But it's possible that you will run into a situation where you need to get some money back from that bond right now. Maybe there's a, some kind of financial emergency and you need to get cash for that bond right now. So you have to sell it. And if the market interest rate has gone up, maybe you have to sell it for less than you bought it for. You don't have any choice. So it's not true that there's no risk in purchasing bonds. There is some risk. Not only might it not be repaid, but you might end up in a situation where you have to sell it for less than you bought it for. It's also not true that bond prices don't fluctuate. They do. They fluctuate with the interest rate. If the interest rate goes up, bond prices go down. If the interest rate goes down, then the old bonds, their prices go up. 